Hi, welcome to an Autodesk Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do th this housing which I did before in uh, on shape, at least the exterior. Now the exterior in Fusion 360. And I will use the same method. I will use planes as reference elements, do my sketches within this framework and then use multiple bodies. So let's have fun with Fusion 360. Okay, first I want to build up my framework, so to speak. Let's show the origin. Then I need some planes with an offset. And the first offset should be 36. Next one should be 80. Then the same planes on the other side. So this m should be minus 36 and one with minus 88. And then I need one down below. This should be minus 5 one in the middle which should be 44 and one for the axis sort of an axis plane which is at 90 okay let's take a look give them different names go for This should be right inner. This should be right exterior, so I call it right X. This would be left inner. That would be left X exterior. That's kind of odd. I had some keys, so I had to undo it. Uh, now let's go for this one. This should be left in a. This should be left X. This should be the bottom plane, this one the mid plane, and that one the axis plane. Okay, now let's start with our sketch. First sketch should be on the XY plane, and in order to use these planes as reference, you have to project it into your sketch. So go for project not include, not intersect, but project. I want to project this one, that one. Well, for the moment I could take all planes this one okay now let's do a square a rectangle this should be over here and then align it collinear this one with that one this one with that one this one with that one and give it a dimension and the dimension should be 46. Okay, stop the sketch. Now let's make a revolve. 
with that sketch and the axis should be this line and confirm another new sketch again on that plane project the elements I need this one that one this one and that's okay yeah another rectangle maybe like this and align this line with that this line with this one and that line with this one give it a dimension and the dimension should be 40 stop sketch again make a revolve with that sketch and the axis should be this one and take care I want to have a new body okay next sketch on that plane another rectangle and project the necessary elements this one that one and this one okay make these lines collinear so this is that one that one with this one and this with that one a dimension and that should be forty six stop sketch again make a revolve again make sure it's a new body axis is this one confirm now I got three bodies and you could rename these as well this should be right x this one would be center x this might be left x always x for exterior left x okay then I need some sort of stiffener so I need another sketch again on that plane I could hide these bodies for the moment project the necessary elements I need this one that one this one that one this one and that one yes confirm and this should look something like Okay, now make them collinear. And I think I did that already. No. And I need a dimension. Come on. That's forty five degrees. And then I need as 
in on shape I need this point right here I could do it with a point or make a fillet and then extend the lines again so we'll do it with a fillet where is it fillet like this and it should be 12 millimeters and this should be for construction only and then I want to not trim but to lengthen these again so extend this one and that one and now I could make a dimension from that point to the this line and this would be 42 okay stop the sketch let's make an extrude with that sketch it should be symmetric and the whole length should be 50 and there was no other body visible so it is a new body okay and then I want to mirror this so go for mirror and I want to mirror a body this body with that plane right here this one and confirm so now I got two bodies and I want to combine these let's go for modify combine make this a union join it okay and I will call this uh, stiffen no. and it's of course exterior there is no interior but call it stiff X now let's show the other bodies okay now I could do the fillets on the bodies so go for fillet okay maybe hide these for the moment and first one should be here and over there and this should be 12 repeat the fillet on these six edges and this should be six let's show the others and again repeat fillet this edge should be six this one should be six as well And this one should be six, of course. And now I could combine these bodies all together. So let's go for a combine, modify, combine, and use maybe the stiff X or the center, the center X as main body. And the tool bodies should be this one that one and this one and confirm now they're all in one body and if you want to have your single bodies just move it back and you got all your single bodies again move it up again and i want to have some more fillets modify fillet and this edge and I have not found a possibility to do fillets with variable radius so we'll do it with a fixed radius and this radius should be 6 and I'm done at least I thought for a moment I'm done as usual I forgot something so let's move this before the combine 
hide for the moment those bodies and show the planes. Okay, I need a sketch on that plane. This should be a rectangle and I need some planes projected into my sketch. This one, that one and this one. Now make the constraints. This line and that projection. This line and the, this projection. And another one right here. Now give it a dimension. And that dimension should be 28. Stop the sketch, make a revolve with that sketch. The axis should be this line. And now merge it, join it to the center body. Make it visible and confirm. Okay, now let's show all those bodies and move this up. And now I'm done. So, if you want to see more, give it a like, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.